everybody I hope you're all well so today we are starting we're starting with the cruel seven stitch like I said yesterday and there's two bits we're going to be doing we're working in the lower kind of corner of, of the piece where the rabbits are and Philippa is saying we're going to start doing the acorn stems so here and here and then we're also maybe today going to be working on these bits too that's going to be our weekend project we're going to do together. Just the cruel stem stitch in this section. It makes it a lot less daunting just having one small section because when you see the rest of it, you're a bit like, ooh. So to remind us how to do the cruel stem stitch, I thought we could have a quick look at Philippa's video. I was very excited to watch Philippa's video too. So we'll just get a quick reminder of how to do the cruel stem stitch. Cruel stem stitch in a single thread. You could use double thread for this stitch but make slightly longer stitches, about half an inch in length. So I've cast on in a next door feature so that my tail of my uh, waist knot isn't in the way of my stitching because there's nothing more irritating. So come up at the beginning of your line and go down. And this can be anything up to about half an inch with double thread, but with single thread, that's going to be slightly shorter. So I go down, to the proportion of the size of the thread as well as the curve of the feature. So as I go down with my needle, I'm using my second finger in my needle hand and keeping that on top of the frame. Then I bring my needle up from below and pinch with my thumb and my first finger. So bring that up and you'll find that your first stitch goes flat. Go down for the next stitch in the same length as the first stitch. Again, hold your wool to the side and come back up in the first stitch. As you go around a shorter corner, then you might want to make your stitches slightly smaller. Now, as you can see, I'm stitching up and down using the same action, rather like a piston as I do for the long and short stitch. So you don't want to stitch like that all day. So I've developed a technique where I actually turn my hand and tension the wool that way. And I find that works really well, particularly in this stitch. So I go down, I use my second finger as usual. Then I come up, I pinch the needle with my thumb and my first finger as usual. But now I'm going to split my hand like that and turn it so that it's actually turning the hand that makes the tension of the stitch. So go down, use your second finger to hold the loop away, come back at the end of the previous stitch, pinch, split, turn. And you'll find that you can rock it through your stitching if you use these very comfortable techniques. So down, back up at the end of the last stitch, pinch, split, turn. And I'm going to race down this side doing this technique. We're going to be using the 912 wool. Now Philippa actually says in this booklet how to get your um, thread without the wool without getting in a knot and it's taking it from the inside. Don't take the short one from the outside. I've already pulled it on this one but you can get the longer one from the inside rather than there's normally a shorter one around too. So that's how you stop it from getting in a knot and I've definitely had a few a few knotted issues. So the other thing Philippa has told me is to make sure that I'm not using a thread which is too long because I have been. Um, so it's from the little finger to the elbow so I'm going to cut here. I've already got my needle ready. I'm just going to quickly do that. So quickly to knot in it. And we are ready to go. I'm just going to see if she says which She's been the neighbouring leaf. This is our neighbouring leaf. 
I'm glad I followed I followed Philippa's video again to uh, put on my seat frame because I was having a few problems on the last one that it didn't always seem tight enough and you can hear it on this one but I feel like I've got it better this time so I'm gonna come up and down make sure right on the line taking the the loop away from the, the curve and up I'm just gonna keep doing that making sure keeping away Trying to make sure that I keep on the blue line to make sure that we don't have any blue line showing. So I'm going to carry on stitching and get these acorn stems done and hopefully, I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to get on to doing the tree stem but we will be doing that together on Monday as well. So I'll see you on Monday, I hope you enjoy your weekend stitching. Mm -hmm.